and welcome to the Nexus. Today we're doing issue 44 of our Optimus Prime build. Let's get going. Okay, so it is just this one issue. Uh, normally I try and double them up, uh, but this issue we're actually going to be attaching this uh, to this side of Optimus Prime. Uh, and there's a fair bit to do. We are going to need some more glue because we're gluing in this section as well. We're also going to need our trusty spanner that we got with the build as well. Um, so let's crack on, as they say. OK, so here are the parts just here. It doesn't look like a lot. But like I said, when we get into it, uh, there is quite a bit. We're going to need our glue as well. Uh, so let's take a little look at the magazine. Uh, we've got Last of the Dying Breed right there. Um, about the Transformers. And then we've got High Energy, which is cool. Uh, then we've got um, Grimlock. Everyone remembers Grimlock. It's, it's, it's really interesting. A lot of people remember a lot of the Transformers, but Grimlock's one of those characters that um, sort of a bit like Optimus Prime, really. He's the leader of the Dinobots. Uh, but he's as memorable as some of the other characters as well. Then we've got Autobot Generation 2 figures just there. Now, I'm not going to show you the instructions, but there it is. Because <laughs> I want you to watch the channel. Uh, right, so let's just open this up. And uh, we'll take a closer look at everything in a minute. Okay, so obviously these are all the parts that we get. We're pushing them aside just for the second. And we have got some uh, screws as well. We're going to need them just a second. We've also got a bag full of these little tiny pins, as you can see. Uh, you try not to lose them, otherwise um, it will be trouble, basically. Uh, we also get this weird socket wrench as well, which is cool. So this is a tool that we're going to use. At first I, I saw this and I thought, oh, what's that going to build? It's not. It's actually a socket wrench. It's a tool that we're going to use to screw some stuff in. So we actually get another little tool, which is cool. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this section just here, and it's gonna sit just at the bottom here, like this. And we're gonna secure that in with three BM screws, which are these ones just here. So, we get one spare. Where are my screwdrivers? Just there. That's the first one. Nice and tight. Okay, just like that. Now we need to turn this over. And um, we've got this little bag just here with three in. What we, what we need is you get... I'm just going to uh, put it out. So you get three different sizes. We're going to need the bigger one. Uh, try and put the other two back in here. Because they will be used in, I would say, just in a minute. Okay, we're also going to need this section here. I'm going to put this BM screw away because we've actually finished with those screws at the second. Okay, and we're going to need we're going to need the smaller one, which is this one. And then we've got a bigger one here. We're going to put that back in with the washer. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this section here and we're going to place it on. So the groove sections are facing us. And then what we're going to do 
it is we are going to place this on so this needs to go on like that and then this needs to go on like so it's a tight fit but it will go on like so sits on just like that then what we're going to do is we're going to grab this screw here that's going to go through we're going to grab our rocket our, our socket wrench and it's actually going to all the way through here because it doesn't just slide through and then we're going to put this this side what it wants us to do now is let's do exactly what I'm doing right now uh, and gotta make it nice and tight there we go that bit can move okay so we've done that now <laughs> the next part is we're going to need these two sections just here and we are going to glue them now we're going to glue one at the bottom here and one on the top like that and we're going to make them so they're facing so the groove sides so if you look at them they will have uh, sort of a little ridge side that's the side we want facing upwards so what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of glue just around the edge here on that one and because it's super glue it's best to use super glue on this because you want it fast acting uh, it doesn't tell you what glue to use but I always use super glue with things like this uh, you're gluing into die cast as well so okay so those bits are now glued on i'm going to put the glue away a minute because i don't think i need that again now so as you can see i've stuck one there where, where are we going where are we going there we go one there and one on there and they're both on with super glue so what we're going to do now is this is going to go on to here like this if we can there we go it's a nice tight fit as well which is great so we're going to line that up okay so we're going to grab the bigger screw a washer the washer that we got and the other part so we're going to put the washer through like that this is going to go through this side and um, obviously we're going to use our new wrench until it's through and then we're going to use that on the opposite side so let me just Uh, 
Okay. And what we need to do is just make sure when it comes out the other side. Yeah, I'm going to make sure it pokes out. Okay, so I need to grab it like this. Once it's been pushed through, it is a bit of a... Like that. I'm just tighten it up. So as you can see, that's there. Then we're just going to pull the shoulder back down again. And we're going to click this into the hole that's just there. It should go in. So, okay, so <laughs> we got there in the end. That's all I'm going to say about that because that was very, very, very time consuming. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, also as well, this top screw just here, it needs two washers. So one of the smaller ones and one of the larger ones as well. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to build these bits and we do need these bins. So we've got, well, we've got one, two, three, and what I've noticed is there isn't a spare. So that could become um, sort of problematic, I would say. Okay, so what we've got to do is push our pin through the hole here. I'm going to push one through. Um, this side is it? Nope. Okay, push that through with a little bit of force, and then here you'll have, so push the pin through, a little hole just there, then it's going to go through that gap just there, so we need to put it in, so it's like that, and then I'm going to use the desk for a little bit of force. I'm going to use a pair of uh, pliers just to squeeze it through. So it's sort of flush. And that should move up and down and sort of back and forth. So that's the finished article right there. Uh, we need to do it another two times. So let's try again. So we're just going to push this through one of the holes here, like we did before. Push this on here. And we're just going to. I did use the side of the desk before, but actually. What we need is maybe something on this side just to protect it as you clamp down. Oh no, it's completely missed the hole. <laughs> okay. I'm hoping that can be pushed back out. Yes. There we go. Let's 
just like that. A bit of false on there. Like so. And there we go. That's that one. Uh, I might as well just do the other one as well. Okay, so as you can see, that is what they should look like. Like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to attach these. So it sits. Well, we've got one in this hole here, and then it's going to just connect up to here. So we're just going to. Push it over that ball joint. In fact, I think we could uh, just go ahead and put it over that ball joint anyway. First, and then it just connects into those holes. Like so. So actually, let me uh, push this one on. There we go. And then it's just going to sit into that hole like that. We've got those two bits, we're going to flip it round. And we've got one just here. So put this end on first. There we go. Does need a little bit of false. And then we're just going to connect the big end into there. Like that. And <sighs> um, that was a lot more harder than I thought it was going to be, this issue. Um, but we are there. We've got our first shoulder, uh, well, our first shoulder on. So obviously the arm will be here. And um, yeah, so hang on. Let me uh, turn this. Turn that. So... I mean, gee, it looks so impressive. Look at that. And I love the bronze colour. It sort of makes it pop as well, which is really nice. Um, but, yeah, it's... Um, now this section is really heavy. It's, start, it's starting to sort of become very loose at this section because of the weight of it. But... I mean, even now, if I if I let go, it's just going to swing because of it's so heavy. Um, but look at that! It looks so cool. Look at that! Um, I absolutely love that. <laughs> I really do love that. Um, so that's what we've uh, what we've done there, and it's all looking good. So, yeah. So that brings the end of issue 44. Uh, once once again, thank you for watching and sticking with the uh, with the video. I know it was a bit of a long one. We do get a nice little rocket uh, socket wrench, which is here. Uh, and this one as well. So that's going to go in the box with Optimus's bits. And uh, you can sort of see now on in, in, like how big this guy is going to be. Um... Yeah, I mean, we've still got loads of work to do on the chest area, but it's now really coming together. You can sort of see the size of him now uh, with his chest area, especially. But it looks really, really nice. Um, yeah, I'm very, very impressed with this. Um, let us know what you think in the comments, as always. Um, but I am very, very happy with how the chest is coming out it was a little bit fiddly to get this issue done but we got it done in the end and that's where we are so like always thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys at our next video take it easy